Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing SVS's brand new release PB2000 Pro. The new version, the latest version, the best iteration of their 2000 series ported box. Uh, SVS is renowned for being able to produce uh, wonderful, wonderful subwoofers uh, and they do a sealed and a ported box of each subwoofer to ensure that they cover off some of the demands that people may have for compact, precise or a little bit more authority and, and slam, covering those with the both ported and sealed versions of their subs. This is the brand new one, the Pro Series, obviously has replaced the traditional uh, PB2000, which you would have seen, of course, on our unboxing videos earlier. The boxes of these are large. Yeah, they're very big. They're big for a number of reasons, but of course it's because what's inside is huge as well. This actually comes with a warning uh, that you should probably move it around with two people. Caution, heavy, team lift. The boxing itself is relatively muted. Not a lot going on. Model and serial number on just one side. But the most important thing that you need to note when unboxing these, it's got this note, how to open. And the first thing is, it says, hey, be careful, it's heavy. And the second thing is, turn it over and unbox it from the bottom. So on the bottom, it's got some scan information. I'll just talk it forward so you can see. Scan information, uh, emulation of the product information and barcode on the bottom. And opening it from here is really, really easy. There's, it's just traditional sort of packing tape. Uh, we'll pause and I'll just tilt it forward. You can see more information about the unboxing process. Now, there is a series of um, reinforced cardboard being used in the corners to best protect this product and offer it some uh, better protection and freight. At this point, my recommendation, once you've discarded those ends, is to roll this product back over again. Like anything that's heavy, the easiest thing to do is take the box off the product, not the product out of the box. You can see how effortless it is as far as being able to take a relatively light box and get rid of it. So in there you've got the closed cell foam and you've got the other bits of cardboard and in the back a New Zealand IEC power cord. That. Okay. You immediately get a sense of scale for this product. Um, look at the size of the grill. The grill itself is separately bagged. In a basic plastic bag. There we go. It's a hugely rigid plastic grill. Lots of uh, uh, plastic in its form. Uh, the, the front cloth is um, sealed, heat sealed on. And we've got a centralised SVS logo. Again, hang around for some photographs. I'll take some close-ups of these kinds of things. The unit sits in, a, in an oversized plastic bag. The easiest at this point is to just sort of lift it out, rock it so that you can get rid of the foam, and then find the opening of the bag. Now it's at the base of the subwoofer. Okay. So opening the bag, you can get rid of the closed cell foam paper. There's the desiccant bag, uh, lovingly protected in a uh, cloth bag to, to ensure that it can't scratch anything. Discarding the plastic bag and again a little piece of that protection we start to have a look at the subwoofer itself. Now it's huge. You see the effort I'm making moving this thing around. Firstly, being ported, it's got two front ports. You can choose to, I guess, manage the airflow with port wads, 
but the subwoofer is designed to breathe. Um, and with that, give you a commanding authority of bass. It has SVS's uh, um, unique drive units. This is one of their 12-inch. Huge annulus. And it's lovely to see that even in the steelwork, we've got uh, SVS's logo, uh, both on the drive unit and in the surrounds. There are gaskets and other things like that to prevent vibration, and a huge number of, of, of hex screws and bolts to hold it all in place. Obviously, again, the two ports, and then the four uh, lug points for the, the grill. The box, as I tilt it forward, is curved. And it's, an, it's a really, really important design. Um, square boxes can exacerbate issues with standing waves in sight, and require often additional brace elements and other things like that to be added. A curve, although more expensive to manufacture, helps to eliminate standing waves, helps to ensure that the cabinet is uh, more rigid. So it's wonderful to see that SVS has um, invested in that with their uh, cabinetry. Um, tilting it forwards, this is obviously in the black ash, um, that sort of matte wood look. Um, wonderful to see, again, lovely care and attention. Um, rolling it backwards for a moment, I just want to show you another feature. The feet on the bottom. I know it's only a little thing. But SVS has done a wonderful job to ensure that the rubber of feet are of a quality and rigidity to perform well, but also absorb most of the vibration so that the floor doesn't chatter. Okay. Rocking it around, we see the, uh, the depth again. And then realistically where the magic happens, which is at the back. So at the rear of the unit, we see a couple of things worth noting. We'll get over the, the little stuff. Firstly, it's got an IEC power socket and a good quality rocker switch for the purposes of powering this on and off. At a glance, there's some unusual things, and the first being Bluetooth. This product doesn't have a Bluetooth receiver for the purpose of wirelessly transmitting. It's got a Bluetooth setup. You download an app to your smartphone and utilise it to uh, give a hugely comprehensive uh, setup guide and tweaking, tuning every element of the subwoofer's performance from the comfort of your living room chair. Awesome, awesome to see. Above that, we've got an emulation of the scan of um, model and serial number and the SVS logo. Above it again, we've got uh, an implication of the power of this subwoofer with the introduction of SVS's sledge amplifier. It's the STA550D. Uh, I would suggest 550 watts Class D. Most importantly, the sledge amplification sits at a certain quality tier in the SVS range, and it's wonderful to see such a cost-effective subwoofer with such amazing amplification on board. Over here, we've got a 3 to 12 volt trigger. That's a 3.5 mil input, and it's simply to ensure that if you're able to, you can run a control cable to the sub and turn it on and off as the AV receiver requires. Above that we've got a set of inputs, both left and right, and outputs, left and right. And one of the inputs is clearly delineated as LFE, low frequency effect, for the utilisation of it from a home theatre amplifier. Above the inputs and outputs we've got a 5 volt USB. This is to power SVS's wireless receiver. They do a transmitter and receiver kit. It's very cost effective. It comes with its own basic 5 volt power packs, but of course it's wonderful to see that SVS has thought about that and introduced a 5 volt power at the rear to minimise cable fuss and clutter. Over here, and lastly, we've got all of the ability to control the subwoofer via a series of little uh, push buttons. The setup process is best done via the app, but you can emulate 99% of its features and functionality from here. You've got uh, ups and downs, and the ability to change and cycle between some of the things required. You can change phase, change auto power on and off, and of course these LEDs blink, depending on what's, what's happening, both on, off, all of those kinds of things, and an, emula uh, sorry, an indication of its volume. Okay, so there we have it. SVS's brand new Pro Series uh, PB Ported Box 2000 Pro. Unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>